think the other problem uh, uh, which is considered on the junction fed is the problem of uh, gate 2011. This problem is uh, more related to the channel uh, resistance when the bias is applied to junction fed. Uh, we observe that uh, channel resistance increases with the depletion layer increase and the depletion layer increases with the reverse bias voltage of K2 source voltage. So uh, here are a link problem uh, question and uh, we have to find out uh, the corresponding channel resistance for the different biases. So we will read out the problem here and try to give the solution to this problem. The channel resistance of an n-channel junction fed shown in figure below is 600 ohms. When the full channel resistance, the full channel thickness TCH of 10 micrometers is available for conduction, the built-in voltage of the gate P plus n junction VBI is minus 1 volt. When the gate to source voltage VGS is 0 volt, the channel is depleted by 1 micrometer on each side due to the built-in voltage and hence the thickness available for the conduction is only 8 micrometers. Now there are two questions related to this problem. Number one, the channel resistance when the VGS is 0. We have to find the channel resistance when VGS is 0. There are four options. Similarly, we have to find the channel resistance when VGS is minus 3 volts. And there are four options again given here. And the uh, here, if you observe here, there is the N type of channel. These are metallic contacts. And uh, P plus N regions. P region, there is a P plus N junction on either side, on either side of the channel. P plus N, this is also P plus N. And both these junctions are connected together and brought out here as a gate terminal say as a gate terminal and uh, source is grounded and drain is also grounded. Source terminal is taken as a ground terminal here. Now uh, we have to see what all is given in this problem and what we have to find out. Now what we are given here is there is a full channel thickness of 10 micrometer. That means when there is no depletion region the full channel thickness is available which is of 10 micrometer and the resistance of this channel is resistance of the channel is 600 ohms. Now if the VBI is minus 1 volt and VGS is 0 this is VBI is the built-in potential uh, of this uh, uh, in this uh, junction then if VBI is minus 1 volt and VGS is 0 channel is depleted by 1 micrometer on each side that means uh, 1 micrometer on each side, 1 micrometer it is standard on this side, 1 micrometer on this side. So the total uh, channel thickness earlier was 10 micrometer, now it has become 8 micrometers. So the available channel thickness is 8 micrometer. Now what we observe here, the channel thickness and resistances are in the reverse proportion. So you know, we can write that R1 TCH1 equals to R2 TCH2. That means resistance into the channel thickness should be same. So we substitute 600 ohm 10 micrometer R2 into 8 micrometer micrometers. So value of R2 comes to be 750 ohm. So the option C is the right choice here. Option C is the right choice in this particular case. Now we observe the second problem. Uh, the second problem uh, is that we have to find out the available uh, channel width uh, for VGS is minus 3 volts and VBI of minus 1 volt. So to find the channel width uh, uh, for this uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have to see how the depletion region extends in the channel. So we have seen already that depletion layer width is proportional to square root of the total reverse bias applied. That means depletion region proportional to reverse under root of the 
reverse wire supplied. So uh, we have uh, two reverse wires. One is uh, VVI minus one, other is minus three volts. Uh, other is VGS minus three and VVI again minus one volts. So we can uh, substitute. We can find out W one by W ratio. That will be two VGS plus VI values. Here one VGS is zero, and this is minus one. And VGS is minus three volts. It's minus one. So this comes out to be half. So this gives me W two equals to twice W one. Now we know the value for W one. Already we have found that's a one micrometer. So two micrometer either side. So if the channel uh, width has reduced by two micrometer on either side, on either side, that means out of ten micrometer, four has gone to only remaining channel width is only six micrometers. So this now available channel width is only six micrometers. Now we have to find what will be the resistance of this channel width because as the channel width increases, reduces. The resistance increases. So again, 600 into 10 micrometers. This R into 6 micrometer. So this gives the value for up to 1,000 ohms. So we observe here the value for 1,000 ohms uh, is the value which is higher than all the values. So uh, the channel resistance has increased. So option C is the right choice here. Thank you.